Hello, we are going to do the Google Drive demo. This is the standard Google Drive demo I'll do for my courses. This may be a little different depending on the course you are currently enrolled in, so please pay attention to what is due on your Canvas page. So we have some instructions, and the first, we're going to do it step by step. So we're going to go to Pexels to search for a photograph of our favorite animal. So I already have it open here in a tab, and my favorite animal is a jellyfish. So I'm just going to search that image, and I'm just going to find an image of what I'm looking for and download whatever one I like. Again, this may have different instructions depending on what course you're enrolled in. So I really like this one, so I'm going to click on this photograph. And here it says free download, and I can download any size I want. I'm just going to download the original. And it's going to download. So once I have my image download, I'm going to rename the file. So I'm going to actually take it from here and drag it into my hard drive so I can use it. And I'm going to have a specific file naming convention. This may be different by whatever course you're located in. So I'm just going to highlight this to make it simple and paste. Now, where it says .exd, that's to mean extension. So that could be um, anything, a PNG, JPEG, MOV, whatever extension I'm looking for. Do not change anything after the dot. Keep the extension the same. Always have an extension. So I'm just going to paste this, and instead of saying your name, I'm just going to add my name there. No spaces are allowed, and this is exactly what I'm looking for. So next I'm going to go to my Google Drive and my Maricopa email. Again, I can only accept submissions from your Maricopa email. And I'll need to make a folder with this specific naming convention. Again, this may be different from whatever class you're in. I have my Google Drive here. So I'm going to go to my new, it's my Maricopa email, and I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to keep all my files in different folders to keep organization. And I'm just going to change. So I'm going to double click and go into my folder and I'm going to upload my file. I could go to new and I can do file upload, folder upload, but I could just also just click and drag to make it very simple. Depending on your file size, it may take longer or shorter and also depending on your internet speed. So keep that in mind. The next step will be, all right, so we've uploaded our file. We want to create a link for our folder. So I'm right here is my folder. I can click this drop down to get link, or I can even go to the root folder and I can click this link icon. Make sure you're sharing the folder, not the individual file. So I'll click the link icon and this dialog box will show up. Now, we need to set the permissions. Who is allowed to see these files? So I'm gonna click this drop down, and there's three options, restricted, Maricopa Community College District and anyone with the link. You need to select anyone with the link because I am not in your Maricopa Community College District. Our emails are in separate servers, so they do not communicate. So you need to select anyone with a link. You can click copy link to hold it there. And this is another thing explaining your information and we need to submit the assignment. So I have this window here and I'm going to click start assignment and I'm going to paste this URL and I'm going to click submit assignment. 
Once I've submitted my assignment, I want to double check my work. So I'm going to click Submission Details. And I get confetti, how fun. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up an incognito browser. This means that I am not logged in to Maricopa. So I am going to copy this link and paste it in my incognito browser. And I know that I'm successful because I can see the folder name. I can see my file. And actually, it's asking me to sign in. I do not need to sign in, but this knows that anyone with the link can access it. I highly recommend you check every file you submit. Feel free to submit your assignment, and I wish you the best of luck. And if you have questions on the actual submission process, please feel free to send me an email. Thank you.